Time is running out for Korea's remaining survivors of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement to receive a formal apology from Japan. And so they are taking matters into their own hands. They're taking legal action. Ten former victims and two family members of deceased victims plan to file a $20 million lawsuit in a U.S. court in July against the Japanese administration, Japanese firms, and a Japanese daily accused of breaching their human rights. The head lawyer in the case said the Kono and Murayama statement, both landmark apologies for Japan's actions during World War II, have repeatedly been either distorted or scaled down during each change of Japanese administration. However, the group is willing to withdraw its suit if the Japanese government issues an apology and compensates the victims. A group of former victims failed previously in the year 2000 to convince a U.S. district court that sexual enslavement was a crime against humanity.